The day after Election Day in Bergen County, the last of the mail-in ballots are still being processed. When it's close, there's a little more pressure. <laughs> and in rooms like these rests the reason Governor Murphy is cautiously optimistic he can still win re-election. When every vote is counted and every vote will be counted, we hope to have a celebration. Alicia Perez's team processed 40,000 mail-in and drop box ballots yesterday, all sent before Election Day. Today, they're tackling 4,000 put in drop boxes on Election Day or ones that arrived postmarked by yesterday. We're very assured of our process. In general, since 2020, we have seen mail-in ballots often counted after Election Day favor Democrats. Republicans have grown increasingly leery of vote by mail since President Trump led an effort to undermine its credibility without any evidence of systematic fraud. We're very stringent on our signature checking and verifying that, you know, the, the mail-in ballot is valid, that a voter ID is valid, and we constantly look at and any, um, any anomalies we further look into. But Bergen County is much closer this time around than it was four years ago when Murphy carried the state's biggest county by around 15 points. This time he's ahead by around four points. Murphy did a little bit. I'm not saying he did a lot. He did some, but now it's time to do everything. It's time to get it done. And I think that because a lot of Republicans are rolling back those mandates and things like that, I feel like people are assimilating with that.